Hey guys, Zari here. Hope all is well. It is Monday, April 17th. New York is open. What time is it? It is 9.46. We've been open about for uh, 16 minutes or so. Watching this now, we are breaking into a fresh zone that was created during Asia and so far during Europe. Europe, of course, overlaps the first hour or two, two hours actually, of um, New York. So... We are into New York now. You can see the changing background color there. 30 minute chart. This is the Dow. This is now the S&P. The S&P is already into a new zone, having wicked violently all the way back up on the New York Open. So we're not actually breaking into new ground during the New York session. This is the first candle. We haven't broken the low. I'm going to revise my support zone to here. Which was created during Asia slash New York. New participants have joined for this. And so I will need it to break and close below here if I were to consider a short at this point. This is the NASDAQ. This is looking much more interesting. Going to wait for this to close before doing anything. It is Monday. Monday can be random, sloppy, choppy, messy, sleepy, sluggish, whippy, and uh, any number of seven dwarves or eight dwarves, depending on how many things I said there. Um, but can be random and, and uh, really unpredictable on Mondays. Especially with the VIX that's below 20, which it currently is. 17.6 as we speak is the VIX. So that's the NASDAQ Again, jumping back up. See, when this is why I don't buy or don't sell in this case. Um, impulse breaks just because it broke into a range it's not a trade for me i need to see a candle close and do a few more things before even considering taking a trade it takes discipline it takes patience it takes missing some significant moves all well, a feeling of missing there's no missing because every day has movement doesn't mean that every day has trades of course um Movement is movement is not it's not a case of catch, you know, catching or missing. Nasdaq. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on pause for now, and I'll bring you back. Pause. All right, guys, I'm back. Dropping down to the 15-minute chart here briefly, and now down to the 10-minute chart, and now down to the five. Tempting, but I'm not going to. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Not doing anything yet, guys. Getting ready to enter at the market, guys, if we pull back to that that line, that entry line right there, if we do, hitting the market order. Now, short now, guys. Looking for a wick fill. And I'll explain why in a minute. Short, looking for a wick fill down here. Mm, not cooperating. So the rejections that are ha were happening here. Okay, hold on. Now we're flipping. I'm watching another screen. That's what I'm going to show you in a minute.
This is not my traditional zone break. This is a scalp. But it's based on what I'm seeing on the Three Sisters chart, and I'll show it to you in a mo moment. I, just want to, I don't want to take my eyes off this. But let me show you the zone from way back here so you can see what I'm talking about. You will remember it from the 30-minute chart. This is the 30. So you can see this clean break. Not a close yet on the 30 minute into this fresh zone, but you can see what it's trying to do, having rejected violently on this on this top uh, wick here, or from that top wick. So bringing you back to the five minute chart. And now, because this is getting sluggish, I'm going to show you from the the three sisters what I was looking at see this how prices went came this is a one minute chart by the way prices ran uh, ran up rejected to it through the pip and started selling off on the Nasdaq we also had a rally here and the um, the, the S&P was also rounding over from VWAP and the threat of a rounding over here on the Dow turns out this one went a little bit higher and that's only that's probably possibly what's holding this thing up right now for now but I'm watching it closely here, I think this thing may in fact flip and drive us down for uh, 13 and a half points here on the NASDAQ. So most of my trades, when you see me take a, a zone break trade, I'll usually use a up oh, and one more push, one more push, and we're done, guys. There it is. That's a one hour. It's 13 and a half points. Thanks for joining me. What I was going to say is um, normally you see me use a stop to enter, and uh, that's typically what I do. This is a scalp based on what I was seeing on the three sisters. Hope that helps, guys. Have an amazing day. Talk soon.